At Midwest Veal, we partner with family farms who embrace healthy animal housing practices, which address the concerns many people have about veal production. We are also one of the first companies to implement new animal housing initiatives. The Veal Association adopted a resolution calling for veal producers nationwide to convert from stall raised to group raised veal by the year 2017. We started implementing barns for the group housing of our animals back in 2005, and as of September 2007, we became compliant with last year's resolution, nearly 10 years ahead of the Veal Association's goal. I'm Marissa Haig, I'm a veterinarian, to ensure the health of the calves. So a veal calf, um, we give them around 100 pounds from the dairy farm. They're definitely not raised with tethers or in crates, raised this way. They're healthy, they're happy, and we've definitely changed as an industry. Uh, the side curtains go up and down so it's naturally ventilated so we're able to get plenty of fresh air through to the calves. Things that we do to make them uh, stay healthy is just common sense things. Ventilation is probably the biggest thing. If it's not comfortable for me, it's not going to be comfortable for them. Veal calves are kept in the dark up to 20 hours a day. We keep the lights off all throughout the night or all throughout the day. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, why do you guys shut off all the lights? Money? Big money. <laughs> with its extra large Over 400 newborn calves are kept in this one location. And these are the little crates that they, that they stay in. Even reducing the, the amount of space that they have even more. Taken from their mothers at the dairy, the calves cling to life at the inhumane veal operation. For eight weeks, the calves are trapped in the two and a half by five foot veal crates. It's going to be uh, the first Fair Oaks calf. Deformed and crippled calves unable to reach their feed buckets. It gets hotter inside, inside there. I had to pay more to go down the road here. to a housing barn. Mm -hmm. They're no pain.
In pain, the calves flee from the needles. At the absence of veterinarians and at the direction of management, the untrained workers are forced to administer all medications and aid to the dying calves. X. For this cow here, you see, it says no, because they won't give him food. Uh, he's too sick, he's dying, so they won't uh, put uh, milk into its bucket. This calf has been having uh, problems throughout the week. Couldn't even stand to eat. Today they didn't feed him. And now, uh, now he's dead. Without their mothers, the calves succumb to the harsh realities of the veal industry. These calves that you see here have uh, have died, obviously, from the conditions that they that they live in and lack of lack of nutrition and lack of veterinary care. This was an animal recovery mission undercover investigation. The veal industry solely relies on dairy calves for its survival. To help. Say no to all dairy products. For more information on this investigation and others like them, go to animalrecoverymission.org.